He, he's, he's, we hit on him. He's a home run. And then you saw Toriano Pride. Uh, you, you saw Koval. Um, you saw, you know, uh, Nate, who's, who was a true freshman last year. So I really like the guy. Sheridan had a great spring, and, and we shut him down, you know, this last part. Uh, I mean, we, we had to, we got to get him, you know, 100%. And, but he got a lot of, most of the spring in, which was good. Uh, Malcolm Green is progressing well to get back healthy. Fred Davis has been able to, he, he's only had five practices all spring, but it was good for him to be able to get back out there as well. Uh, so it's going to be a good group of corners. Uh, Miles Oliver joined the group this summer. And, uh, but that safety group is a very experienced, savvy group. And um, so I think all three levels will have experience and talent and depth. And it's not always the case that you have that. Uh, you know, so, but it's going to start with those guys up front. I mean, we, I think we got seven guys that will get drafted this time next year. So it'll start, it'll start right there. Uh, and if those guys handle their business and those young guys behind them, you didn't see Brzee out here today, you didn't see Trey Williams out here today, but if those young guys will handle their business, it's going to be a deep uh, group that, that can lead the way for us. Uh, but, you know, they're only as good as you know, the guys around them, too. And uh, so, I, but I think all three levels, uh, we're going to have guys that can get it done. Coach, you said last week that the one question you still had was punter. Um, yeah, punter. yeah, you see why I said that. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's kind of had it. Like Nostradamus of... today, didn't he? <laughs> Well, so, so I guess nice there's still no separation yeah. there. Astronomers, <laughs> nice, there you nice go. Nice <laughs> and the days, <laughs> uh, they, they had a couple of nice ones each, but you know, yeah. average well, you over see four what, yards. You see what we've loved about Potter. Mm -hmm. I mean, he bombed a few, and uh, he can do it. But you know, the first snap was it was a little high. It wasn't perfect. You know, I got my man Florenzo out there getting his first. Like you know, I imagine he with the winds blowing, he was probably a, a train wreck. Uh, but he was a little high. Uh, but Potter needs. To, he's got to make that. You gotta make that play. It's not always gonna be perfect. We touch it, you gotta and so but Potter hadn't really done that. So he, he he's gonna he's gonna work his tail off. because um, he really wants to compete and win the job. And then, you know, that gum Aiden goes out there. And, and he he muffs one. And uh and he shank one. And I mean it was just, you know, Jack, I was actually pleasantly surprised because he had about a 30 mile an hour wind at him on his very first punt and he's three yards in the end zone. And I'm like, this has potential for disaster. <laughs> and, uh, and, and he really, his process was good. And that's really all I wanted to see. Here's a guys in this. I wanted to see him just have a good process, handle the ball. And, you know, he got about three or so. Three or so. He's going to be really good. But he, he's kind of been like a high school senior out here. And uh, he, he's got he's to just settle in. And uh, you know, I'll be anxious to see where he is when we get to camp in August. But that's really... You know, the only question mark I have coming out of spring is who's running out there first to be the punter. And uh, we got work to do there. Uh, our snappers are going to be good, but but I, I think that uh, we, we've, we've got to solidify that. That defensive ends group, it seemed like they really showed up the day. Just what did you see from those guys? Yeah, I, I, I fired them all early. Uh, <laughs> I told them, y'all better make your reps count because they're, they're not going to be many. And uh, well, I'm going to remind them, of, you know, they, they did a great job. They were. There were some guys a little out overmatched, you know, but they did a good job. They were all begging for sacks and all that stuff. So I'm going to remind them when we miss a couple of those sacks this fall, uh, you know, uh, don't be begging uh, next spring. So, But they're great. Really good group. I'm proud of all four of those guys. Very mature. They really like each other. Uh, there's a lot of competition there, but it's a healthy competition. And, uh, Good leadership. We're just proud of all of them. KJ's been great. This has been his best spring. Maskell's had his best spring. Miles has had his best spring. Xavier Thomas, man, saw him out there today. I mean, he's, he's you know, uh, there have been a lot of people who lose money if you said Xavier Thomas would be back here for a fifth year coming out of high school. I'd have been one of them because uh, I didn't know if he'd have that type of maturity and stuff. And because and, uh, he certainly couldn't have left. But he really wants to. He wants to be the best version of himself. And uh, so if he, if he stays committed to that, he's, he's going to have a great year. All those guys, it's going to be, be a fun group to coach. You know, but you had the Power Rangers as, as the honorary head coaches today, so you knew it was going to be a defensive struggle <laughs> right out of the gate. Uh, but it was, it was fun. How about those guys, man? Austin looked great. Christian was great.
when Grady was here and T and Isaiah and you know saw saw Jordan Williams and Shaq Smith and Chase Bryce and you know uh, saw a bunch of guys here today. So it was fun to T Higgins uh, see a bunch of a bunch of those guys coming back to hang out. I know you said. Uh, you guys definitely want to go to the pool and try to get offensive linemen. And uh, yeah, is, we're, we're, is there any other position in the spring that you feel like no, you might take a look? No, no, no. The only position that, that you know, now, I mean, I mean, I'm, unless I got guys show up and tell me they they love me, but they leaving me. Uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> unless we have that, uh, I don't anticipate that. But I mean, who knows? Uh, you know, all things stay the same right now. I don't. And we don't. That's the only position that we would look at, and we're not going to just take a day out and take a guy. It's going to have to be, you know, it's got to be right. Uh, but we're certainly are going to evaluate that between now and and uh, into May. Anybody else? All right.